For blade removal, you'll loosen the housing release nut, activate the cam, then pull the blade out and remove the band. For removing the pinion, loosen the pinion cover nuts, swing the pinion cover, and then pull the pinion out of the head. For removing the cam, unscrew the cam screw. When reinstalling the cam, you want to put a medium strength Loctite on the thread of the cam screw. When reinstalling the housing to the head, you'll want to use Loctite on the head studs. And when tightening the housing nuts, you'll want to make sure you don't over tighten. It's recommended no more than 16 inch pounds of torque. For cleaning the tool, you'll want to open the cam or the pinion cover, run hot water through the bushing around the housing, through the handle to blow out any excess debris. Replace the pinion. You'll want to put a thin coat of mineral oil on the pinion to ensure that it does not rust. Also a thin coating on the housing. Replace the wear band on the blade. Activate the cam to open the housing. Place the blade into the housing. Make sure that the band race is seated into the band race. Retighten the housing release nut and check again to make sure that the band is seated properly. For the HP 40 and 50, there are two housing release nuts. The housing release nuts have a nylock insert. Remove the housing, remove the housing release nuts and the housing nuts. When reinstalling the housing, you'll want to use a medium strength Loctite on the housing studs. Only on the side that has the housing nuts, not the housing release nuts, as they have a nylock insert in those. This is a demonstration of how to open the cam if it is sticking. You can use the T-handle tool to assist. To install the depth gauge and the depth gauge stealing device, you'll remove the pinion cover and insert the attachment to the face of the head. You'll want the plastic depth gauge to be in an up position to expose the pinion cover screws. Tighten the pinion cover screws and this attaches the depth gauge and depth gauge stealing device. To adjust the plastic depth gauge, you'll turn in a clockwise direction to raise the depth gauge and counterclockwise to lower the depth gauge to make a thinner cut. To remove it, you'll want the plastic in a nut position to expose the pinion cover screws. Loosen the pinion cover screws and remove the attachment. To break down the divide the attachment, you will Screw in a counterclockwise direction until the plastic depth gauge is all the way down, released from the adjusting screw. You remove the plastic that exposes the adjusting screw. You can inspect and clean. For the air tool breakdown, You'll release the housing, 
Remove the jam nut. Next you'll remove the motor nut. And the drive shaft housing pulls out of the planetary gear. And then a the O-ring seal. The housing drive shaft pulls apart, exposing the drive shaft and the U-cup that will need to be changed if air or oil is blowing by the jam nut or the head area. Making sure that the U-cup, that the U open is facing down toward the spindle gears. Replace the O-ring. The O-ring will need to be replaced if air is leaking by the motor nut. Press the drive shaft back in the drive shaft housing. Reassemble the motor nut to the motor. Do not over tighten as this is an aluminum part and can be stripped out. At this point, once you have the motor nut back on, attach the air and test the motor before moving forward to make sure that it is running properly. Reinstall the jam nut. Take this down to make contact with the motor nut, but not too tight. Thread the head back onto the motor. To adjust the position of the head, line it up to desired location. Take jam nut up to the head. To remove the air inlet attachment, unthread from the motor. You'll do this to inspect the O-ring seal that is between the motor and the air inlet. When reassembling, you want to make sure that the O-ring is seated into the groove on the air inlet. Reinstall. Do not want to over tighten again as this is aluminum going into aluminum and can be stripped out if over tightened. For the trigger valve, if air is not getting by the trigger valve, activating the motor or the motor continues to run while the throttle lever is deactivated, you'll remove the air valve and inspect the spring. Check the O-rings to reinstall, replace the O-ring, put a small amount of O-ring lubricant on the O-rings, then the spring will fit into a dimple into the trigger valve. Tighten and retest. To insert a new bushing, you'll first place a washer in the head, line the bushing up with the bore of the head. Using a vise, you can begin to press the bushing in. Take it in as far as you can. Then you use the bushing press tool to complete pressing the bushing in. 
you press it till you bottom it out in the bottom of the head. We'll have a little bit of a recess so the bushing sits just below the deck of the head. Remove the bushing, use the spacer on the front and the vise with the bushing press tool. The bushing press tool will go against the washer that was inserted to help assist in pressing the bushing out. See the washer comes out as well as the bushing and the bushing facing tool. Use an arbor press, put the washer in first, line the bushing up, use the bushing press tool, press it in until it seats into the bottom of the head. Remove the bushing with the uh, arbor press. You'll just insert the bushing press tool into the back of the head and using the arbor press, press it out 